Hey everybody, it's Allie Edwards, and in this video I want to show you a few of the new little pieces, mixed media style pieces we have in our December Daily Collection this year. First up is a die. It's a metal die, so you'll need a metal die cutting machine to use it. I have a Sizzix machine here, and I'm cutting out some of the December Daily pattern paper. So this is great if you wanted to make a bunch of tree shapes, maybe you want to make a little forest, use the patterns. Um, I'm also going to run it through here on some uh, sticker or adhesive back cardstock that Heidi Swap has in her shop. It's kind of great because it already has adhesive on the back. Um, I love the green color of this particular one. This was a part of a mixed pack and it had a few different colors in there but that's kind of fun if you haven't seen that yet so it's like adhesive backed cardstock you can pull off the back and then it's essentially you've got a little sticker there great for using die cuts next up i want to show you the silk screens and so this year we have a silk screen pack and a stencil pack this these are the silk screens they have adhesive on the back of them and then usually you can use a credit card or a palette knife or something like that where you're essentially um, brushing it on there, but you're not using a brush. I don't wanna say brush. You're screen printing. That's what this is. It's a silk screen and you're screen printing. Uh, it's usually best if you don't use too much paint. On this one, I think I put a little bit too much paint on here. And I think it, part of it was just me remembering. <laughs> how to do this and getting back into it again. But I wanted to show you on a couple different kinds of paper uh, so that you could see what this looks like. I'm using the paint that we have available in the shop. Um, sometimes any or anytime when you're using silk screens or stencils, it's there's gonna be a lot of times where it's not perfect. So here's another time, this is the Merry Christmas uh, silk screen, and I used definitely used too much paint on this one, so you're gonna see there's a couple spots where it's like smudged um, on there where it's trying to, trying to print the Merry Christmas. So I'm gonna do it again. I also wanted to try doing it on these deli sheets. So I use deli sheets for, um, I paint on top of them, I like adhering them down because they, um, with a glue stick, like they, they almost, almost adhere down clear. Um, and so here's a look at that text on there. So for me, this is something that I can cut out. I could then layer it on the mixed media trees that I'm going to be making this year. I can also use the stencil on top of there, lots of different options, but I did use less paint on that one and it came out better the second time I did it. Here's the dove. And this is using the red paint that we offer in our paint pack. Wait till you guys see what this one looks like. This, I love this dove design. It's so cute. Oh, oh man, it turned out so good. And then I'm gonna cut some of these pieces up because I can use them in different mixed media things that I may end up doing uh, this season. So here's another one. This is like a branch style snowflake. I'm gonna use green. Again, I'm doing this on a paper that's called a deli sheet. I get it on Amazon. Um, I don't even remember where I first heard about it. I know the people who use jelly plates for jelly plate printing, um, they use these ki this kind of paper. And so I've used it in a bunch of my uh, mixed media and collage stuff. And it's just a, I really like the texture of it too. So here's one of those with that guy. Oh, it's so cute. Um, I also wanted to show you, I just pulled out one of my mixed media notebooks here and I wanted to just do it on top, take this one in particular and add it on top. So one of the things I haven't talked about and while I'm doing this one, you can see, um, I, these are reusable. So when I am done with them, I take them into the bathroom here that we have upstairs near my office. And you can just use water or soap and water to clean these off and then you can reuse them. I put them back, the silk screen specifically because they have adhesive on the back of them. I usually put them back onto their regular backing. Uh, but it's the same thing with the stencils. You can just wash them off and reuse them. Here's another of the silk screens. This is the ornament silk screen. Again, it turns out super cute. Uh, a light layer. This is a palette pen that I'm, or a palette knife that I'm using on that one. Oh man, so fun. Like just cutting up a bunch of those and then, um, 
layering them together, like having a little collage of those, I think would be really fun. Uh, here is the branches silk screen. This is going on top of one of the trees. The trees are what I'm going to be building my own little collages on top of. So sometimes I paint on them. Sometimes I stamp on them. Sometimes I adhere things on them. Uh, I'll be sharing more of that in the coming months. The last silk screen here is a row of trees. Super, super cute. I'm going to use red on this one uh, and you'll see what that looks like I think this would be really fun to do on a card maybe if you had a Christmas card or at the bottom of a journaling card um, something like that and then I just love the look of them layered on top of each other and that's probably what I will be playing around with is kind of figuring out what do I want to lay them on top of how do I want to use them in that way uh, I'm just kind of getting going with some of the Christmas stuff so here are the stencils the stencils are different from the silk screens they do not have adhesive on them and with a stencil stencils I almost always use ink so these are ink daubers uh, and I'm just using our panel or excuse me our redwoods red ink here um, this is actually the same daubers that I used last year I think that we still had some of those in the shop so if we do they will be in the boxing period as well um, they work great for doing this because you're basically just dabbing it dabber dabber you're dabbing it uh, on top so this is a piece of white cardstock oh that looks su super fun so I decided to do the two text ones first so inside the stencil pack there is um, two that have text on them and the rest of them are shapes so this one says make some merry um, again you can use any colors of ink I just find that the that, that were the ink I think works better on here than the paint does sometimes the paint just seems to go through to the other side but it's another one of those things you can play around with you can use embossing ink and then you could add embossing powder on top of these okay so this one is the branches that come together in the square I feel like this would be a really fun one to repeat and make a pattern if you wanted to um, or you could pair it with some of the pattern papers that we have either in the uh, I think it's in the bonus pattern paper pack the 10 by 8 pattern paper pack um, this design here is also in the prompt paper pack so I just went ahead at first I was going to try to do um, red in the like have the berry part be red and there's probably a better tool than the dauber that I'm using or the dabber the dabber or dauber that I'm using here's our ginger people we're gonna do those in the darker green so this is the Mackenzie ink so we have a darker green and then we have a lighter green called Willamette that I'll use here in a minute too um, these guys are really cute this would be fun to do a bunch of just blocks um, or play around with um, you know adding masking some of it where you're um, adding paper there so that it's you're maybe just doing half of the people you know or the top halves of the of the people and then you could do the bottom half in a different color this one is the hanging stars so I'm going to play around and just do a little bit of red and a little bit of green I'm kind of mixing uh, the two together and you'll see what that looks like in the end here um, really this kind of stuff I think you know some people really love mixed media play and love stencils and love stamping and and love the opportunity to play around and I'm definitely one of those people I think for me I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with the trees again and seeing um, what I can pull from my stash in addition to uh, which of these little pieces might be really fun to play with so there's a an ornament shape on the stencil I also wanted to do this one this is the the branchy tree stencil and I wanted to try it on the deli paper and kind of see what happens I'm not sure how long it's going to take to dry on on this but this is part of the experimental part and then I'm going to do another one of the same stencil on cardstock so you can see the difference um, between the two I'm doing that's the Willamette so that's our lighter green and then that's Mackenzie which is the darker green we name all of our colors mostly after Pacific Northwest locations maybe we've got a couple California uh, in there now too West Coast West Coast for sure all right so there it is on the deli sheet and then I'm going to do another one on top look see this is where it gets into the layering there's going to be some fun layering that's going to happen coming up here uh, so now I'm putting it on the white piece of cardstock so you can see what that looks like it's mainly just going to be a little crisper on the edges um, on the deli sheet it was just a, a little less crisp um, on there but still looks really cool especially if you like the branchy trees oh 
It's very, feels very festive. Yeah, look at, see, just the layers. Mm, mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is very exciting. All right, that's a look at the stencils and silk screens and our cute little tree die that we have available this year. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below.